Franz here from Snakes of Namibia. So today we're going to release the common boomslang. Now this is uh, the third most common snake involved in our conflict in the city um, and also one of the most common snake species that we tend to find in Namibia. Now boomslang reach a maximum length of two meters. They are diurnal, meaning they move uh, mainly during the day. Many people mistake them for black mambas, uh, but typically you can distinguish between the two uh, by looking at the head shape. Now the head is short and stubby, the eyes are relatively large in comparison to the size of the head and the scales are what you refer to as keeled or rough scales which helps them with camouflage and protects them against the thorns. They're what we refer to as a rear fang snake which basically means the fangs are situated in the back of the mouth and Wormslung can open their mouths up to 170 degrees um, and are more than capable of inflicting a serious snake bite. However, these snakes are rarely accountable for serious snake bites in Namibia, more specifically <clears throat> because uh, they really shy. And most of those that are bitten are snake handlers like myself or people that typically tend to work up in trees. Now, with the boom slung, it has a hemotoxic venom, basically means it affects the blo blood's ability to clot. Um, but overall, it's not a snake that is aggressive. Um, and typically they tend to spend most of their times up in trees, usually just coming down to drink water, to move from one tree to another, and occasionally to hunt frogs. So what I'm go just going to do is, because I can see he's rearing to go, we're just going to put him down, and then hopefully he'll just move off. And you can see that this snake will not be aggressive, its interest is just to move away. There he goes. 